Right, so the season is all about family, right? And we have a special guest joining us today that is really, I think, the perfect person to talk about it. Reverend Dr. Tim Tooten Sr. joins us now. And if you're thinking uh, <laughs> that name sounds a little bit familiar, well, it is probably in more ways than one, too. Reverend, you're an author, and you actually used to work here at WSAZ. 31 years ago, wow. I was reporter at WSAZ uh -huh. and spent five years here. I've not been back here in this studio uh -huh. in 31 years. What so do you think? I, I think you guys have really moved up. <laughs> I mean, it's very modern, but it's great to be here. My wife's a native of yes, uh -huh. I'm a native Floridian, but this is home. Uh, it's great to be here. I love that you can be here. Um, this is really cool because we were flipping through one of the books that we have here, our 50th anniversary WSAZ book, and, and we were me. looking through, and we sure did. We found you. And Melanie, I think we might have a picture of him. Oh, there, there he there is. There it is. I was right uh, all of 20. Eight, maybe? 28? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a great shot. What were you doing there? Do you remember? That I was leaving, actually. That was uh, my Aww. going away uh, party of sorts in the newsroom, saying, uh -huh. Tim, take care. So they were saying to me, have a great day. I don't know where that mug is. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. All right, so obviously a lot has happened since you left WSAZ. You became a reverend yes. and also a published author. I mean, tell us a little bit about that journey. Well, the journey was one that was certainly journalism tied mm -hmm. to journalism. Sure but I actually started a fellowship in Baltimore while still on the air, okay. which is where I am currently, and took my dissertation, mm -hmm. changed it around, and wanted to help families. This is important for raising up kids in a Christian environment. Mm -hmm. And so that was my passion. We put it to print back in June, okay. and we think it's the greatest Christmas gift for everybody, of course. Yeah, and I mean, you're in town for the, the book sign, the book there on your screen, Leading by Example. Tell us a little bit about where you're going to be this evening and how folks can come out and get one. I'll be at Empire okay. uh, from 5 to 8, signing books, uh, just trying to get these into the hands of parents and grandparents. It's actually a guide. Mm -hmm. It's a big book, as you can see. Yeah, it is. It's, it's actually uh, one that parents can actually go through and they can do lessons with their children. I saw that, and yes. Yeah, very elementary, big font that I can use. Yes. But the idea is to get parents to put in their children with all the challenges in the culture, to put in their children the importance mm -hmm. of a faith foundation. Absolutely. And that's so key. Yeah, and I mean, as you were saying, very interactive. You can <laughs> check out the pages here. I mean, there's room to write. So you're encouraging families to basically sit down and go through this as sort yes. of a workbook. It also becomes a keepsake mm -hmm. because you're able to go through. Yeah. And I think coloring is back in now. Yeah. You can color, do work puzzles. But what I found with the members of my church in Baltimore is that they took this to heart. Mm -hmm. And when they did the lessons, uh, some of the kids now are in high school and college. Oh, wow. And it's helped. Okay. I think that in this culture, we've got to make sure that we get our principles. And it says teaching and modeling. Yes. Uh -huh. I think that uh, our children always watch us, and that becomes so key. So we, we, we think it's important. We're glad to be able to share it at my station. Yeah. I can still say my station. Yeah, of course you can. At yeah. my station and also uh, with the larger Huntington Tri-State community. Absolutely. Is there a particular age range that you're catering to? You know what? I, I've been asked that question. Mm -hmm. It's 3 to 12. Okay. Uh, so up to the tween years. But some of the principles here are really for everyone. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of references to scripturally. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that you will always learn something in this. And so no matter what age you are, it's important to talk about what you believe, and I tried my best. I have two of my kids here, as a matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, they're in studio uh, with us. There's a third uh, in the area, but I've done it, yeah. and I'm a grandparent now. And so I have uh, two grandsons, nine and six, and so I'm continuing to okay. lead by example. So this is really a testament, too, to your own family that yes. you've gone through yes. this with. And they turned out pretty good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, I mean, what has this transition been like? And I say transition because you're you're in TV still, still. <laughs> but you're also a reverend and you're you're an author now. I mean, what is that like, kind of balancing it all? It is. Uh, it's an incredible balance mm -hmm. because uh, during the time I was certainly on TV, yes. uh, still going for my dissertation, getting my doctorate, and just kind of you know how we do. We, we can do this in TV. We, we can do five things oh, yeah. at one time. We can reprompt them. <laughs> we can do a whole book. Right. And I think that that's been. Uh, something I felt very passionate about, okay. and the idea of of continuing. I'm working probably on the second or third book, but oh. I still love TV. Let me just say that. Yeah. I still love television. Uh, it's been 31 years in mm -hmm. Baltimore. 
I still enjoy being on TV after all these years. That's incredible. All right, well, we certainly appreciate you coming by today and sharing this with us. Again, if you're interested in coming out tonight to meet the Reverend Tim Tootin <laughs> here and also maybe get a, a copy of a book and get it signed I'll, too. I'll autograph it. Fantastic. He will be there from 5 to 8 p.m. at Empire Books in Pullman Square. So go on out there and check him out tonight. <gasps> and this, oh my gosh, Melanie tells me, our producer, that this oh, oh God, was yes. the studio when you were that here. That was the studio. In fact, there was no prompter back wow. then. You had to read the script uh, whole. Uh -huh. It was film. And there were three people at three stations. Uh huh. <laughs> that's, oh my That's gosh. throwback. That's real throwback. This picture almost doesn't even look real. <laughs> it is it, real. What? <laughs> so, JB, thanks to JB for finding oh that my picture goodness. for that, us that that is, we work with here. Yeah. That's old school. Well, it's great I being here, that. and uh, you're still the favorite station in the town. Reverend. And the oh, best station. It. Can I just say that? Of course yes. I can say that. Yes, you can say that as many times as you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it's my, it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.